Hi, I'm Naomi Yamamoto. I'm the Minister of Advanced Education for the province of BC. Today is uh, International Youth Day. The United Nations has uh, dedicated the theme this year to change our world. That for me means uh, the use of social networking tools and I'm sure like many of you, you're, I'm, uh, you're on Facebook and Twitter. I'm a Twitter fan myself and I'll hope to uh, schedule a tweet that you'll receive today. I hope that uh, you use the social networking tools to enrich your lives and your studies. I use Facebook and other social media to plan my group projects when I have projects to do as a group and for classes. Um, that really helps it, I don't know, feel like it's less work and more play. It affords you a lot of opportunities that, that you might not have had or might not have known about just because of how daunting and how spread out um, the different social networks, I mean, in, that, in the traditional sense, at a university are. Professors are really catching on to social media, so some of them will communicate with students via Twitter. So you can tweet them a question, they'll tweet you back an answer, or they'll have um, online office hours where you can ask them a question using you know, instant message instead of going to see them in person. I mean, not only do students tell you about personal or social events, but also events that are academic, like um, I guess side team or class events that are happening. And because it's online and it's on something like Facebook, you can see that your friends are joining and it becomes more than just some academic event put on by the campus. Obviously these people exist on campus, but if you're able to join Facebook groups or um, Twitter is an excellent way to of keeping in touch with people or finding people that you might not otherwise know about, but who might have very similar goals and uh, aspirations as you do. With social media, it's such a global thing. Um, if you just put one thing on Twitter, it can easily be trending across, like halfway across the world to somebody over there. So it's a great way to spread ideas and it makes it easier for students to express their opinions and show what they're really feeling and then see, gain support for that. I think social media is, is a tremendous place to organize and it's a tremendous place to share information. It's not necessarily the place that fosters the strong social bonds that are necessary to actually change the world, but once you're committed to doing it, social media is the first place to go because you have, it's easily accessible and uh, you just get a wide network of people to spread your message to. I think students can use social media tools to change the world. Um, to sort of create their own media and their own news. I think students are becoming their own media sources and less and less people are going to mainstream media and having to worry about if their messages are objective or not. Twitter and Facebook um, is not limited by geographical boundaries or you know, social, ethnic um, backgrounds or anything like that. So it's just um, another medium for communicating and uh, gives us greater access to people who wouldn't be exposed to our ideas otherwise. <laughs>